Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you how to use parallel compression. What this is going to do is going to take your drums from this to this. So as you can see it adds a lot of punch, a lot of grit to it and it's a really good effect to blend into your normal drums. So what we're going to do is just hop on Logic and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so what I've got here is just a little drum loop that I recorded. Pretty standard, you know, nothing exciting going on there. And what I want to do is add a bit of attack and a bit of grit to this beat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some parallel compression. So what is parallel compression? Well simply put, it's where you have a separate auxiliary track with a really hard compressor that you're blending into the original track. So for example, we've got our drums and we've got our drum bus. We're going to send that to an auxiliary track, put a big compressor on it and just blend that into the original drum track and then you'll have a kind of texture that you can then layer with the original drums. So let's just bring up the mixer firstly. So what I've got going on here is I've actually got a drum bus here which is called Kit and that's got all the tracks sent into one track here. So if I solo this it'll be all the drums. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a send here and we're going to send it to, let's just say, bus 5 because that's empty. So that's going to create a track for us, so it's aux 2 here. And what we'll do is just rename this compression. And what we want to do is we want to send all the drums to this bus. So we're just going to press Alt slash Option and just click on that little nubbin. And that will send it to this compression bus. So, so now we've got basically two copies of the drum track. So all we're going to do now is just add a compressor to this track. So I'm going to go into Dynamics, just use the stock compressor. And because I want to go for a gritty sound, I'm going to use the Studio FET. That seems to be one that's got the most grit. So what we want to do is put a, quite a fast attack and then a slower release. And that's going to give us the attack that we want and the punch from the drums. And now what you want to do is just slam that compressor and make it really crushed. So I'm going to bring up the ratio and bring down the threshold. So as you can hear, I've added a lot of compression to that. And what we can do now is just blend that compression track and get the right level that you want of grittiness. There's a couple other things you can do. I'm actually going to take a little EQ to this because I've actually got the sub kick going through this compressor and it's a bit much. So I'm just going to put a high pass, not too crazy, just, you know, around 70 hertz and that's going to stop it being a bit too muddy. So this is just the side chain track. So there you go, it adds a lot of attack and texture to the drums. So another thing you can do to make it even more kind of crunchy is you can add a distortion before the compressor. That's going to add even more grit, even more overtones and things and it's going to make the sound even more interesting. So I'm going to use an overdrive. So what I'll do now is I've just soloed the track and mess around with the overdrive settings. The first thing I'm going to do is take off that filter. So let's go. So that is parallel compression. It's fairly simple to do, it's very quick to do, and it adds a lot of vibes to your drum track. Okay, let's do a quick comparison. Anyway, that just about wraps up the lesson. I hope you got something out of it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be Logic. That's just the DAW I use. So you can use Fruity Loops, you know, Reaper, Pro Tools, whatever you want. Just experiment with different compressors, different settings, different overdrives, you know, different effects, EQs, all that good stuff. And you can craft your sound and then blend it in. And you've got yourself an interesting drum track. Until next time, though, take care. See you later.